So let's have a look at now setting up um, an email template so that we can actually start sending out uh, some emails to to our customers. So I've actually set up a couple of templates here, but I only actually use this one which I call plain, which is just like a, a standard email. So the thing is, I've I've set up a template here that I can use for all of my emails. So I've got my profile picture here. I've got a link to my Facebook here. So and I ask people to connect to me. And this, the way I start off my email is hi first name and my signature at the bottom. And in the middle, when I'm ready to actually start writing an email, I basically just start typing something. And that's it. Or copy and paste, uh, depending on what I'm actually using. Um, now this information down here, we want to, uh, at the bottom of your email, you should actually have your company name or uh, details down here. And this is actually saved in your list when you actually set it up. Um, I'll go back to the list, I'll just add that on a new tab. Okay, so this is a list of solo opt-ins that I've built. Um, I've just tried testing this with solo ads. Let's have a look at this one. So if we click on update in our list, when you actually create your list, um, I'm just trying to think where the actual information goes now. Sorry, I've just lost it here for a second. Uh, now, the section I was looking for, the actual address, when you actually create a new list, um, basically is filling uh, the name of your list. Uh, this is something that you will see. Um, so, I don't know, just say we're opening a, a list for openers. I've already got one, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, this is for us. Now, here's a description that we're putting in for our customers. So, let's call this VIP Marketers Tips, for instance. You want to set this as single opt-in and single opt-out. Um, you don't need to put anything in here. Uh, your email address should be your uh, your server email address, so not your personal email address. So, so on this one, it is uh, this is my email address that I actually use to send to my customers. You don't need to put a subject line in. You can um, put one in later on, but you can just put weekly newsletter for now if you like. If you want to be notified when someone unsubscribes, you can click yes and put in your email address. And then you'll get a notification when someone unsubscribes. The same if someone subscribes to your list, but you probably don't want to do that because when you import 100,000 people, you'll get 100,000 emails saying that someone just subscribed to your list. So we'll leave those as a, a no for now. Um, now with your openers list, you want to, uh, if someone subscribes to your open list, we want to take them off our other list. So of this list, Steve, that's my seeding list, so I'm going to delete that one. Um, but my main list is uh, the list that I created to import all of my weekly leads in. So everything goes into this list for starters. Then I send uh, a few hundred emails out each day. The people, every time an email has been sent out, they get added to this list, sent and not opened. But when they open an email, they actually get moved to my opened email list. So when someone gets added to this list, this is my opened list, we want to remove them from these other two lists so they're only in the opened list. Uh, now down here we put in your company email, uh, company address, sorry. So I just call this one SBW Media, SBW being my initials. And I have a, um, a postal address at um, Vegas. This is just a um, uh, an, an external mailing company. I just have like an external mailing address, which is at Nevada. It looks like a suite number, but it's actually um, a mail service, like a PO box. So um, 
you know, you can you can get one of those for yourself as well if you like. This has cost me a hundred dollars a year, um, but you can please yourself. There's probably other other ways that you can go around it. If you've got a PO box instead of your putting down your home address, that would actually be better. You don't want to be sending your home address to everyone that's on your mailing list. Um, so down here, you put in uh, so these tags go into all of your emails basically. So you can just copy it just like this. So you need to put in your company name um, and your company's address. A website if you've got one, that's not necessary but I would put um, a link in here to one of your capture pages or to uh, my lead gen secrets, something like that. So this one I've put down to Reed's capture page so if anyone clicks on that link they'll subscribe to to Reed's um, autoresponder and get daily emails encouraging them to join the company uh, to join the business so I'm not going to save this now because I've already created the um, openness list so getting back to the actual um, template now that we saved um, we just need to have all of this information at the bottom so that people can subscribe or unsubscribe to our list um, we have available tags here that you can actually put in your list um, but be careful that you're only putting in information that you've captured from your customers so uh, like we do have their first name so we can actually use that one down the bottom when you're saving your template um, you know, I can put a copy of this on my website if you like so that you can just copy that and paste it straight in however we do need to create a link for some sections so um, this one here want to change how you receive these emails people can update their preferences um, to do to set preferences as a um, as a link you can click on highlight the section which is preferences click on this little chain and we actually use update profile URL in here we put other and OK to save that one so this is to update your preferences so anyone can just click on that link on their emails and update their preferences or they can unsubscribe the same way um, which is the unsubscribe URL you should URL we should have that on the bottom of every email so once you set up this template um, you can then save this and use that for sending out all of your broadcasts or in this program we call them campaigns the other thing as well if you do want to add an image um, of yourself like a profile picture like I've done um, that is done I'm just going to add it up here uh, this is to add an image you need to have the URL uh, here so which I've saved here on my website so under images and my name or you can just call it profile.jpg whatever you like um, make it a fairly small I put 132 as the width here um, you can make it like 100 125 150 you probably don't want to go much bigger than that and click OK if you want to you can put a link in here um, but one option is uh, a link to your Facebook even if you wanted to so you can click on link paste that in there um, target if you want people to open in a new window just pick blank as the target and they'll open a new window so if you have someone now clicks on my name they'll be taken to my Facebook page okay so I won't save those changes now but that's basically the idea of how to set up a template ready for mailing out um, now I'll quickly go into campaigns and just have a look we can we've got two campaigns regular campaigns and autoresponders I'm just going to have a look at my autoresponders for solos so I want solo and subscribers and I'm just going to look at that one for now uh, so I've only set up day 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and I can see now that the people here have actually 
gotten up to my day four. Um, so I've got, um, I haven't been getting a lot of results from them, but I've getting like a few people I've opened here. Nine on day, on the first day, six, two, zero on day three. I'm not sure what happened there. One on day four. So what I'm doing is um, I'll keep adding to this autoresponder series on a daily basis. Um, and you know, everyone that opts in will just keep getting a, a daily email from this series for me.